Sunday morning, day three. We're headed for the hills. We're gonna have a little Sunday service. And anything like that. Really all I want to do is share this one verse that I've been thinking about a lot recently. And I think it just applies to all of us in our lives right now um, and how messed up this world is. Um, and just start with that. Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. And I think that's the situation we're all in with social media and the world and all the screwed up stuff that's going on. And, you know, the, you know, everybody's looking at everybody right now. And we, as Christians, I think we should just do our best to try to just live a good life. We don't have to go crazy and preaching all the time and whatever, just to live the best life we can. And I am, you know, I'm as guilty, if not more guilty than everybody of messing that up. Um, but I'm trying to do better every day. And, uh, it's kind of what I'm trying to do with this, the gospel of two wheels. It is, it is a double entendre. I mean, it's on purpose that that's, it's not just about motorcycles. It's about God too. And, uh, and I think that, um, I, like my life has been a, a giant mess. Um, I, I messed it up really, really bad a long time ago and I've been working really hard to unmess it up <laughs> and God's the only reason I'm still here. <laughs> and uh, it's just, uh, I'm, and I mean, the success that we've had this last year with the shop and things have gone better than they've ever gone. And I attribute all that to God because it's not me. You know, I haven't changed much about what I do. I mean, we could, we could blame it on Zach. Because, he, <laughs> <laughs> he might have something to yeah, <laughs> all the slack. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and I just wanted, you know, I, I've, I've asked God for years now to help me show people what he can do through motorcycles because I truly believe they saved my life. And I think that that was God's work in my life is him working in the weirdest, most unpredictable way possible <laughs> and, and getting me here. And, um, so yeah, that's all I really want to say. And I just want to, you know, if, I, if anybody else wants to say anything, that's great. I just wanted to say a prayer for the day and for this trip and then go have some fun today. So dear Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this group of people. Thank you for this world that we get to live in. Thank you for dirt bikes uh, and all the fun and challenge and pain and suffering that they bring us because we know that those are all things that give us a chance to be closer to you. Uh, and uh, I just ask, Lord, that you be with all of us today. Help us stay safe. And I just ask that you help uh, help us to shine your light in our communities, Lord, and not to be, um, don't worry when we trip up because we're gonna, and uh, to just get back up and try to live the life that you um, that you intend for us, Lord. And I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and for today, I was thinking, so Ross and I were talking about going like that way, but I was looking at the map and it's like, it looks really small and it looks like Jeep trails that then butt right into the city. It may be, yeah. Uh... And so, I mean, it might be, but I was thinking like, after we got through the hard stuff on that backside, there's some really cool, just like flowy. So I've got a 35 mile loop. Yeah. That I did, we didn't touch yesterday. It's already kind of tracked out. Like I kind of, we can figure it out. Yeah. We can ride that. Let's do that. Okay. Cause it's, it's like all that kind of lowland. Yeah, it's all lowland type of flowy stuff. I'm yeah, doing. let's do that. Cause that'd be cool. And then if anybody wants to bail, bail, whatever. Cause it's easy. Like there's like a million trails out there. Oh yeah. And it looks like at any point you could just turn and come Head back. back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you'll find your way back. Come back this way. Cause like yesterday, at, I started to even kind of figure it out a little bit. Like I went through the valley and like, 
with the guys from Oklahoma. It was like, oh, okay, and they bend around, and, and we just came around the end and came back. You know, we went down the elevator. I think it's an elevator shaft. Yeah. You guys come down that. You saw like a little. Like, there's like a little type of like mesa or a mountain there. Uh huh. I think there's single track that just follows around that. And it goes <laughs> back around. Yeah. So oh, why you there step is. On we that took it yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. It, okay. it, it it goes all the way around that valley and actually comes up right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll all right. Sounds like it's gonna be a good day. I haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I breakfast.